Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. We're gonna do a quick video on paralleling generators, okay? So this is two Champion 2500. We got the Champion Dual Fuel 2500 and the Champion Gas version 2500. Okay, so this two generator uses the paralink. You see right here, it's the square one. So you would use this to uh, parallel this generator, you see right here. They're square, you just pop these things right off. Okay, so if you want to use this parallel kit to parallel this generator and this generator, there'll be absolutely no problem because they have the uh, power link. So you just pull this one off as well and get your covers off. There you go, you just connect red to red black to black, and then your ground, right? Go to the other side, do the same thing. Red to red, black to black, and then connect your ground. You just fasten this, get the screw off and connect it. I'm not gonna do it because we're just doing a quick demo. Everything will work fine because you have the exact same plugs but let's say for instance you have a champion you wanted to buy a second generator and you happen to buy one of these you got your champion you bought another generator now you want to you wanted to uh, parallel these two together let's just grab this one right here and see what happens the generac 2500 next to the champion this one's connected with the square I'm going to take this one right here, this plug, and see, it will not fit, right? If you bought this parallel kit on the back of it, what are those? Adapters. Okay? You pull these two adapters off. See what they're doing? They're square on top, round on the bottom. Just plug it in. One, two, now you just adapted the round plugs to the square. Get your plugs and just match the colors. Okay guys, that's how you would parallel a champion with the paralink to any other, the round style. So if you have two generators, they are backward compatible. So you could use the adapter and still plug it to another generator. So you can parallel them together. So you're probably wondering, can, I, can you get these plugs by themselves? You can. You can actually get them by themselves. Here's, the here's the next thing you can do. Let's go ahead and get these unplugged. Let's just say, for instance, you have two generators with the same style round, round. You went and bought you a parallel kit. So you bought you the parallel kit, you did not pay attention, and you bought the squares, and all your generators have round. What are you going to do? You can actually buy these separate. You can buy this adapter from Champion, dump them out. So now what you do, you have all these connectors, you have four of them. If you have two generators and you have this parallel kit, so just get them red, black. Remember I said, just match the other one the same. So if you have red on the left, black on the right, I just do it the same. Now your parallel kit will work with any generator, even though you have the round and you bought the squares. So you just plug them in. There you go. So all you have to do is get these little adapters and you can parallel the, the generator. The square ones with the round ones by using these adapters. Okay guys, just to show you guys it does work, we have the Champion 
2500 and the Generac 2500. I'm going to be paralleling these two generators together using the Champion parallel kit. I have my adapters right here. They're going to be going in the round parallel kit. And the Champion has the Paralink, which are the square. So if someone happens to buy two generators or you have two different generators with that different parallel kits, it can work. Okay, let's, let's connect our uh, adapters. Red, black, we got the red one, the black one over here, go ahead and connect these. I, have, I already have my ground connected. On this side, we're just going to connect red to red and black to black. We have the parallel kit connected already. Both breakers are on off. I have my uh, meter right here so we can see what we're going to power. I'm going to run a heater, 1,500 watt, and my 2,000 watt light. I don't want to overload the generator too much. Just want to show you guys that it will work. It's 200, so that's 3,500 watts of power. Let's see if we can run it. Let's get them started. First one, chop. Okay, we got the generac started. On, hold chop. There you go. They're both on eco mode. Okay, let's turn on the parallel kit. We're going to be using the 30 amp. I have this connected in the 30 amp. It's just my meter, so I can see what we're pulling. The meter's connected. Turn on your 30 amp breaker. All right, you got power. Okay, now from the meter, I'm going to be using this adapter. So it's a 30 amp twist lock to 320 volt plugs, okay? So I have the two lights, well, four lights right here. And they're all paired together and the heater. All right, let these guys warm up a little bit. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is fire the heater up all the way. Okay, next we're going to turn on one light. Each light is 500 watts, okay? Got one on. 1.9. Let's turn on the second one. Oh, the switch gave me that. Okay, we got the second one on. 2.3 fourth three point two at 118 volts okay guys so you see they're all working they're working together We got the 200, 2,000 watt lights, 1,500 heater. Two different generators. Champion, Generac. They're both 2,500 watts. Different parallel kit connection. So you have the round, the square. And you can work them together. Okay guys, real quick video just showing you that you can parallel almost any type of generators. 
and this one we're showing the adapters. I already showed you guys all of it and it works. Okay guys, if you like this quick video on how you can parallel different generators, even different parallel kit, the square and the round, guys, please hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks and have a nice day. Bye.